Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Hytale Modding Guide. Today, we're actually covering the blog post about world generation, alongside taking a deep dive into all of the new mods being created for day one in Hytale. We're going to have to tank Zeusly to begin with, because he has an entire tread we're going to go through. But first, we're going to go with the blog post. So, the main thing with this blog post, I'm not going to go into too much detail, because I'm sure you've all seen it before. I want to go into detail on the actual systems that they have in place. So I'm going to scroll down to where the actual node editor example is. I'm going to up the quality. And from here, we can't see too much. However, the main things that I am taking away from the way they have this editor set up. As we can see, at the top, we have the actual Hytale generator biome. So... My guess is you can change it from a biome to something else based on this part here. You can actually just auto lay out the whole template, whatever way you want. And you can actually toggle how they appear. With that, obviously we have plenty to work with. I wish there was something closer up, but this should be good for the moment. That's actually something interesting. We can actually export our lay layouts and templates we use for one biome as a template for another thing if we want to use it. So you can really just export everything as their own piece of information. So if you're working on a biome, you are capable of saving little snippets to reuse in different situations, which is quite handy. At least that's what it looks like there for the moment. From what we can see as well, the way they're handling all of the situational objects, there's going to be a lot that you can do. I can imagine someone making a really rare structure, such as a castle that only spawns at the top of a hill that is surrounded by a river on all sides. Think like a moat and castle. There's going to be plenty of things people can work on, which you won't see, as they were saying, you don't see in a normal block game, which is incredible. Like, the sheer complexity of the world, insane. However, we like it on the technical level. So let's stay focused. The nice thing about the entire system is we don't have to code. For us programmers, it comes as a bit of a surprise. However, artists, as they were saying, world developers, world designers are now a thing. And they want artists to take control of the design of the world, which we all love. Plus the bonus fact that I think what a lot of people skip out on is being able to live reload the biome as you're designing it, just so you can get visual feedback on what you're making, rather than having to wait until the end result, seeing if you like it, and then having to go back and change things without knowing how it looks when changed, is insane. We haven't seen it in any sort of world generator before, from what I know, but that is a huge difference that will make world generation and dimension generation way easier in Hytale than most block games. One of the nice notes to know as well is when we take a look here, we begin with the entire overworld, as we can call it, the world of Orbis. It's only going to have the default generator. However, we do get to experience snippets of this new generation that they've included. By opening portals to small instances is what I presume. We haven't seen too much on them, but like the Bleak Root Bog, for example. And they will use the world generator V2 for the actual style of them. Now, I'm unsure if at the moment, if we make mods using V2, if we can use them in the world or if they're only in those instances, that has not been confirmed. That is something I would actually like to know. I might even see if Simon will answer myself. But hopefully after a few community mods are made, they can be used in the actual world itself as well. Now. Onto the Hytale modding tread, thanks to Zeusly. Again, another awesome Hytale creator. If you want to see anything related to Hytale modding in a shorter form content style, I recommend checking them out. We have Buzz here, who initially made Lucky Mining, which looked like lag, which upset a lot of people. However, he's gone and changed it to a new style, as we can see here. As we can see, he uses a partic particle effect, and then he also causes the blocks around the one that's mine to actually become the ore instead of the previous version. We unfortunately got bad apple already, or fortunately, depending on how sane you are. 
one of the big ones which i'm going to be using on our server if you want to join our server just join the discord below and you can join day one is the actual chunk claiming that uh, he's created as well so he set up a whole chunk system and it just means that on our server on day one your builds will be protected just on the off chance there's a few bad actors as you can see it's all ui based which goes to show one of the things simon mentioned originally was ui wasn't going to be something we can easily work with however they seem to have at least the ability to work with their current ui in editor which is a good sign that's good enough for the moment if we can't implement our own custom ui elements if you enjoy anything that's related to building in minecraft well the good news is macaws over here and building all of their mod systems into hightail so we have paintings here we have all the doors and even a nice thing well hightail is the double doors open by default we have lanterns and you can alter the actual style with a hammer rather than having multiple variants you have shutters windows there's a few extra interactions such as this which i love with hightail and then um he has a unique mod but we have plenty of mods to begin with in hightail i won't show you all of them if you want to check them all out go to zeusly on x and they have everything here you just take a look in but we have a wide variety from ui mods to gameplay mods to block mods just to begin with by default we even have skyblock if you want to play one of the more interesting ones, which I only seen now, was if I go back here, was first was this Undead Warriors one, which looked amazing. I might have to add this to my own server. We'll do a vote on that and see if people want it. And then another mod that caught my attention was something that Simon literally only posted 45 minutes ago. Thanks again, Zeusly. Is his own automation system that he just created in his free time. It doesn't look perfect, however, it shows us that factory mods are entirely capable in Hytale on launch. Now, I have some awesome news to tell you, and that is I have become a Hytale creator. So you can use code AWSIP when purchasing the game, and that will help support the channel. And also, if you're interested in setting up your own server, I'm going to have a guide on how to set it up with G Portal coming out next week on day one. And that guide also includes my referral link which you can click down below if you want to pre-order already and that will give you a further 10% off on your server when using my link down below but that guide will show you how to set up the mods on a server the actual vanilla version of a server and plenty more for you to begin with so yeah stay tuned for that and also all the future modding content to come anyways that's everything for this video i just wanted to cover what was on the news and I'll see you all in the next one.